what journalists would be using social media for is is different. We don't really look at uh, often at breaking stories. Information is every bit as key um, as those basic things, you know, shelter and food, uh, to us, and we're surrounded by it. So how do we know that it's um, reliable? Where does it come from? Did a professional produce it? Was it verified? Did they check it? The challenge for us was how we verify it. We needed to get a hold of our sources and as much as we could from people over the phone on the ground try to verify the content, the, the versions being shared uh, through, through social media to see um, you know, what the real story was. You don't report, or at least I don't report, on the basis of um, what they're saying on social media. Using quotes sourced from social media this kind of thing. I have a problem with that. There are a lot of stories. If you're dealing as a professional journalist or a media organization with, I think, with Chinese social media, it's a really difficult yeah. environment. There's so much happening. And uh, so verification is a real concern. Basically, if you have a, a source that is talking about something of interest to you on a news story, you have to find a, a way to reach that source uh, directly. Um, it's difficult because is it enough to speak over the phone you know with that source too I mean see if you're not there with them uh, you, it's hard to know and and, uh, and it's not really reliable in my case I'm working on longer projects so I worked uh, recently on a, on a book about urban villages in, in China and in a few cases I found sources uh, through Weibo who are talking about the village that I'm reporting or the issue I'm reporting uh, and Eventually, it, it's a matter of going to, um, you know, Guangzhou or whatever city I'm reporting on and meeting that source. So it's about a very careful interaction with them, not revealing too much of what I'm doing because I don't know them yet. I can't trust them, and then um, arranging a meeting in a secure, open location where I can see who they are and see whether, you know, they're a credible person. From that point on, I have a human interaction, and so our interaction is your your traditional face-to-face -face interaction that a journalist uh, you know, would have. It's the best sort of, of reporting there is.